how to set up a caravan on site. Today we've got the Bailey Pursuit 402 and we're going to show you how to set it up on site and how to use it. On the near side we've got our battery compartment with our 230 volt hookup, our battery compartment, our gas bottle holder so we can get a 6 kilogram and then a 4.5 or a 3.9 kilogram. It's set up for propane so all that you have to do is tighten the hand wheel onto the bottle and then literally turn the gas on on top of the actual bottle itself. We're on the Alco chassis and we've got 13 pin electrics and we've got the Alco AKS 3004. On the off side we've got our water connection so this just drops into our crawl, pushes into the side and you'll hear a little click. Flue for our heating and then our cassette toilet We've got our filler for our flush water, so you just use a little watering can and pink chemical, and then the cassette is at the bottom. Just up the top here, we've got the drain off for the flush water, so just pop the end out and that'll drain all of your flush water out. All of our waste water is going to come out of the two connections just there. So as we come into the caravan we've got our control panel, so we've got our master 12 volt on and off, we've got our lights, we've got our awning light and then we've got our water pump. Before we put our water pump on we need to make sure that all of our taps are closed and also our drain valve which is just underneath this seat is in the correct position. So our yellow valve in this bottom right hand corner, that is our drain off valve. Now to drain the water system down, we pop that into the upright position, open all of our taps and that will drain the water system down. So when we come back to the caravan, we need to make sure that it's back flat as we are now. And then all of our taps are closed before putting our water pump on. So once we've then put our water pump on, we can get the water through the system and it's literally hot and cold. Get all of the air out of the system. We will get a good five minutes or so of coughing and spluttering um, if we've had the system drained down. Once we've got a nice steady flow of water and all of the air is out of the system, as we've got now, um, we can then open up our other taps, our bathroom and our shower and just get the rest of the air out of the system and then we can go ahead and put our heating and hot water system on. On our gas system, again, if we've just put a gas bottle on or we've just run out of gas and we're putting a new gas bottle on, we need to get all the air out of the system. The easiest way to do it is on, on our hob. And again, we can physically see that we've got the gas coming through the system. And then again, on this one, we've got the combined grill and oven. And then the other way for our oven. And then that just makes life a little bit easier. So we know that we've got the gas through the system then. So lighting up our fridge, our heating system, etc. on gas, it's all a little bit easier then. On our fridge, if we want to use 230 volt, it's just literally straight to the plug symbol. Battery is for car, so when we're towing on the car, if we've got all 13 pins wired in, we can keep the fridge cool. And then we've got our gas. Now to light up our gas, we so we hit our igniter and then we'll hear the, the flame. We have got the little indicator, um, which it will just go up towards the, the green. And again then, as we release the control dial, just need to make sure that it does stay lit. And then again, we can release the dial and you'll actually hear the flame going and the dial should stay up towards the green. Once we've 
finished and we want to use it back onto another setting we can just go through and then again back to the zero to turn that one off on our heating system we've got the Truma heating system there to wake the system up and um, we press the little button in the middle you'll notice that we've already got the a little plug symbol on on the bottom just to let us know that our 230 volt is connected and then when we want to put our internal temperature up put our heating on inside the vehicle we can then press and put the dial onto our desired setting our hot water again we've got eco which is like a low power setting normal is our normal hot water setting and then we've got our boost so that will boost the water um, and get it a little bit hotter a little bit quicker if you want to just come in and use the shower straight away etc normal setting we'll use it on our hot if you do go to a site and they've got a low power setting then you might want to use it on eco so we'll set that to normal hot and then we've got our control so we've got our gas we've got a mix of gas and electric on a one and a mix of gas and electric on two and then we've got just electric one so again a low power electric and then a high power electric and we just click it and it then tells us up the top with two electric symbols to say that we've got the sim the to say that we've got the electric selected if we select the gas you'll get a picture of the gas bottle and again if we select gas and electric we'll get both come up we have also got the blown air heating which at the moment it's set on eco we can then put it to high so we can select either one that we want then and then again it's just a click to select that one if it's the summer um, and we don't want any heating on uh, or hot water and we just literally want a blown air just a cool fan just to cool us down we can go into our fan setting go on vent and then from 1 to 10 and again this will then without any heating or hot water this will just blow cool air around the caravan for you and again back into the off position and that turns everything back to original we've also got the microwave this is the eco power microwave so we have to press the eco button to wake that up we've got a quick start 30 second guide we've got a stop and then we've got other settings in there we'll just remove the microwave plate now um, so that that's not going to come out when you're traveling and cause any damage so we'll just pop that underneath the seat we've got individual little light switches dotted around um, some of our spotlights have got their own little switches on and then again we've got little sw light switches they have fitted a little touch light and then again we've got our kitchen light which is just controlled via here and then in our bathroom we've got the pull cord so again this will put our lights on and off and then we've got our cassette toilet so our flush water we just literally press and that will put our flush water through and then to open the cassette up and let everything through is our little grey handle just at the bottom there Hopefully that's got you up to speed with how to set the caravan up on site and how to use the caravan. If you do get stuck with anything, if you're not sure, just give us a call and we can walk you through it. Thanks, I'm Mark at the Caravan Place.